Coming up on this week in Torrance, the farmer's market will soon be able to offer their fresh produce to more customers thanks to a new grant. We'll tell you all about it. Then with Christmas just around the corner, we have tips on how to pick the perfect tree. Plus, thousands laced up their sneakers to get a workout in before feasting on Thanksgiving Day. And the Torrance Transit Holiday Bus is making its rounds. We'll tell you where you can go to catch a free ride. These stories and much more just seconds away. Your local news starts right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. My co-anchor, Jen Chun, has the week off. Thanks so much for joining us. Here are your top stories. The Torrance Farmers Market will soon expand its services to ensure more people have access to fresh food thanks to a recent grant awarded by the United States Department of Agriculture. More than $115,000 will be used to implement the CalFresh EBT program for a three-year period. This includes setting up accounting systems and training staff and vendors. The EBT CalFresh program assists customers living below the poverty level to receive food assistance, giving them an opportunity to buy more fresh produce from vendors. Right now, only 10% accept EBT cards at the Torrance Farmers Market. The CalFresh program will potentially increase the farmers' gross sales by as much as 20% by the end of the grant period in 2020. Other funds will be used for staff to educate the public about healthy food options through on-site cooking demonstrations, more than 10,000 people living within a two-mile radius of Wilson Park live below the poverty line. The Torrance Farmers Market averages 18,000 shoppers per month. Once again, Torrance Transit is making holiday shopping just a little more convenient this season. The holiday bus service will continue every weekend through Christmas Eve, giving shoppers a free lift from the Lamo Fashion Center to the South Bay Galleria. It will operate from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays only. It's not hard to miss this transit bus as it's wrapped in holiday decor. There are many intersections it will stop at, including Carson Street and Delamo Circle, Hawthorne and Delamo Boulevard, and Hawthorne Boulevard and Artesia Boulevard, just to name a few. This is a free service and transfers are not offered. To find out all about the stops, go to transit.torrentca.gov. Torrance Police and Fire are teaming up to bring joy this holiday season. They're hosting their annual holiday toy drive. You're able to donate an unwrapped toy and a gift certificate. No used toys or stuffed animals are being accepted. Gifts can be dropped off at any station. In addition to toys, they are also in need of Sports equipment for children ages 11 to 16, such as balls, gloves, and frisbees. Some other items include art supplies and age-appropriate games. Families requesting to receive assistance can visit the Torrance Police Department or Fire Station 1. The donated toys will go to families in need of the city of Torrance. For more information on the Holiday Toy Drive, head to police.torrentca.gov. Well, Christmas is almost here, and as you go out to buy your fresh-cut trees, make sure you're getting your money's worth. Experts say to measure the height and width of where the tree will be placed, look for signs that the tree was freshly cut, needles will be hard to pull from branches, and you'll notice the trunk is sticky with resin when bouncing the tree on the ground. Only a few needles should fall. Look for trees that are kept in water and shade at the lot. Now, when you're looking for artificial trees, choose one that can keep around, you can keep around for 10 to 20 years. Avoid ones where the center pole is visible. Also, look for a strong stand so the tree does not topple over and find one that has an easy setup. We brought you this story last week on Newsbreak Live with Hibba Samad of a local organization looking to win a $5,000 grant, and we have some good news. Thanks to the community's votes, the Pediatric Therapy Network is one of 10 organizations in the Jewelers for Children competition to receive $5,000. After two weeks of voting, more than 32,000 votes were placed. PTN is a nonprofit child development and therapy center providing services for children with special needs and for those at risk for developmental issues. The American Heart Association is looking for volunteers to knit and crochet for hospitals' tiniest patients. 
Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center in Torrance is one of the places that benefits from the Little Hats Big Hearts program that gives newborns knitted red caps to raise awareness about heart disease. It's the number one killer of Americans and congenital heart defects is the most common type of birth defect in the country. All babies born during the month of February will receive a hat. Besides helping with knitting, the association is also accepting yarn donations. More than 1,600 newborns in 10 L.A. County hospitals will receive them. It's the second year the American Heart Association and the Children's Heart Foundation launched the Little Hats Big Hearts program in Los Angeles County. If you would like to knit or crochet, head to heart.org slash Little Hats Big Hearts. The program started in Chicago and has grown to 660 hospitals in 40 states. Well, there's some good news for parents living in Torrance. The city was recently named one of the top cities to raise your children in. The National Council for Home Safety and Security published a ranking recently with Torrance coming in 40th place. 526 cities were part of the research. Some of the factors that were taken into account including graduation rates, crime, health insurance coverage, and median income. National Council for Home Safety and Security is an organization made up of companies and individuals in the home safety and security industries. The blimp is back in the South Bay. Goodyear pilot William Bayless led the lecture hosted at the Western Museum of Flight. There were no empty chairs as he shared the history and evolution of the airship. Bayless is an assistant chief pilot with 13 years of experience flying the iconic vessel. The first blimp hit the skies a little over 100 years ago. Guest also got a chance to hear all about the newest airship, Wingfoot 2. It is also the first of its kind to act as a jump platform for skydivers. The Goodyear blimp has seen it all from sporting events to the most notable entertainment affairs. And the first live broadcast in 1955 was of the Rose Parade. So back in 1955, that was the first live transcontinental broadcast uh, that we provided for the Rose Parade. Of course, we do every January 1st. Um, and then sub subsequently, usually the, uh, the Rose Bowl game as well. There are three current active blimps and operational hubs, one based in Ohio, Florida, and in neighboring city, Carson, California. Still ahead, nurses at Torrance Memorial Medical Center get a surprise visit. Plus, Santa's sleigh is making his rounds here in Torrance. We'll tell you where you can catch him next. Nurses at Torrance Memorial Medical Center got a special visit from a former patient. Torrance City Cable reporter Jesse Pierre has the story. I have and book a little twist in my hand. Kyla Bree Toomey just turned seven years old, and for her birthday, she wanted to show her gratitude to the nurses who helped her when she needed them the most. I, I, I told my mom I wanted her to donate to the hospital. Toomey was born premature and came into this world at just three pounds. She spent several weeks in a neonatal intensive care unit until she was strong enough to go home. I expected to, um, for Kyla to arrive a little bit early, but I had no idea it was going to be um, eight weeks early. She was here for four weeks and um, they did a, an amazing job, um, you know, saving her life and taking care of both of us. And now Toomey is reuniting with the nurses who stood by her side with a special thank you. 
Jimmy and her family hosted a luau-themed birthday party at the beach where all of their guests were told to bring something other than presents. So I asked my friends and my parents mm -hmm. to donate money to the hospital because I have lots of sores. Oh, oh that's, that's really sweet. sweet. What do you want to say to all these nurses that have helped you when you were a little baby and helped you get all nice and big and better? Um, thank you. And the nurses couldn't be more grateful to see Toomey healthy and doing well. Our nurses work so hard and even just getting a little thank you from a parent uh, or a child later means so much. Pictures mean so much. But having them come back all these years later and really recognize you know, what they did those years ago is it just means amazing. Toomey is one of the tallest kids in her class and thanks to her big heart she was able to gift the nurses and the NICU with six hundred dollars. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Jesse Pierre. Thank you Jesse. Torrance Memorial's NICU has 24 hours in the hospital coverage for patients in their care. Nearly 4,000 people laced up their sneakers on Thanksgiving morning for a city tradition. Now give me a double on this side, how about that? Double. Some stretching and great music. These walkers and runners hit the pavement for the 38th annual Harry Sutter Memorial Tricky Trot Fun Run. 500 spectators also cheered on the participants. The three mile event is named after Harry Sutter, a sports administrator from the city who passed away in the 70s. It's a super special event. We call it a family fun run. And there are families here with uh, as many as 25 members in the family, including great-grandparents, grandparents, parents, uh, children, and, and their children. So it's, a, it's a, just a special event. A canned food drive also took place where non-perishable goods were accepted. Donations went to St. Margaret Mary's Church Food Pantry. Breakfast with Santa is the next city event coming up. Be sure to sign up soon before they all sell out. Speaking of Santa, you can find Old St. Nick spreading holiday cheer nightly throughout the month of December. Bundle up for the annual Torrance Police Officers Association's Santa Float, leaving the station at 5 p.m. each evening. It will make its rounds throughout Torrance neighborhoods. You can catch him at various locations through December 18th. For the full list, Go to TorrancePOA.com. The tradition started back in 1969. Torrance Marriott Redondo Beach kicked off the holiday season with the 12th annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony and toy drive. One, three, two, one. <laughs> Torrance Mayor Patrick Fury had the honors of lighting the decorated Christmas tree. All of the guests were asked to bring an unwrapped new toy to be donated to the Pediatric Therapy Network. And the Riviera Elementary School Choir brought some holiday cheer with their special performances. Stop by the Village Green at the Torrance Marriott Redondo Beach if you would like to get a glimpse of the tree. Models hit the runway to not only show off their trendy styles, but to kick off a one-of-a-kind festival. Models strutted Lourdes Chavez's recent collection along with rare and original fur pieces designed by Edwards Lowell Furs in Beverly Hills. It all took place under the 30,000 square foot tent at Torrance Memorial Medical Center. It's the first event of the 34th Annual Holiday Festival hosted by the hospital. After the great show, attendees had the opportunity to shop the pieces they saw, and also there was a special shopping boutique set up. TMMMC's annual holiday fundraiser has become a longtime local tradition. My children and my grandchildren have all worked on this festival. My children started when they were teenagers, and now my great-grandson is hanging his ornaments on a tree. So Sawyer's three years old and he helped decorate his tree this year. So always my family has at least two or three trees that they design and decorate every year. So it is our family's tradition. 
700 people attended the fashion show this year. The festival also had 36 themed decorated Christmas trees that were auctioned off. The festivities also included lunch with Santa and a sold out gala. These events take place over the course of several days. Proceeds from the event will benefit the renovation of Torrance Memorial's North Patient Tower dedicated to mother baby postpartum, neonatal and pediatric care. A one-of-a-kind indoor facility for baseball and softball players is opening its first West Coast location right here in Torrance. Building permits have been issued for Hitter's House, a professionally inspired facility open 24-7 year-round for baseball and softball players of all ages. It helps them work on their swing and improve their techniques. The proposed location is on Hawthorne Boulevard in two vacant buildings formerly occupied by the Arizona Leather Company, Hitter's House, will also have a store with world-renowned Marucci Sports Company products. Marucci is known to be the number one baseball bat manufacturer in Major League Baseball. Company officials say Torrance was chosen because of the number of youth playing this sport and its proximity to LAX for visiting Major League Baseball players. The facility hopes to be open in time for Christmas shopping. This location will be the first outside of the state of Louisiana. A Torrance-based company releases a new product that will keep your personal space safe in a unique way. TrendNet launched a surveillance camera that is disguised as your everyday light bulb. The goal is that it deters unwanted attention and captures important surveillance footage. It has an adjustable base that fits into most standard light sockets. It also connects easily with your mobile device and provides a fish-eye view of the space. It has a HD camera, remote controls with smart lighting technology, ability to enable motion-triggered lights, and two-way audio. It also functions as a real light. TrendNet is a global provider of award-winning networking and surveillance solutions to businesses and home users. You can purchase this on the TrendNet store, Amazon, and B&H. Still ahead, upcoming events happening right here in the city, plus a preview of what to expect on the next episode of the Sports Desk. You're watching This Week in Torrance. Welcome back, everybody. Here are some upcoming events to mark on your calendar. O'Reilly Auto Parts on PCH is giving drivers a new oil filter in exchange for a used one on December 9th. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., residents may receive up to two new filters in exchange for used filters. For more information, call 562-944-4766. Then to get ready for Christmas, Santa will be making a stop at the Torrance South Bay YMCA. From 4 to 6.30 p.m., bring your camera for this picture opportunity. It's free and open to the community. Plus, you can also have breakfast with Santa on Sunday, December 17th from 9 a.m. to noon. The City of Torrance will host its annual tradition with entertainment such as a puppet show, music, and cookie decorating. Reservations are required. Tickets are $20. Now let's find out what's happening in the Torrance sports world. What's going on, A.J.? Here's what you'll see this week on the Sports Desk. Can you say refuse to lose? The El Camino College women's basketball team hasn't lost a game yet, and we're going to show you why. And speaking of hoops, the South High girls team opened their season while the Spartans wrestling team hit the mat for their annual kickoff tournament. Plus, we are the champions. That's what West High School is singing right now, and we'll tell you why. All this and so much more, remember to watch the Sports Desk at 4 and 9.30 p.m. right here on City Cable. Thanks so much, A.J. Well, that does it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.